Good afternoon, everybody. We are picking it back up in Ezekiel. Um, we left off yesterday in chapter 20, and God was um, instructing him to tell the elders of Israel that, look, you know, I uh, was going to bring you into the land of, of honey, and because you have turned away from me and worshiped false idols and brought all your Egyptian idols with you that you wouldn't turn away from, that um, basically I'm gonna I'm gonna scatter you and it's not gonna go well. So we will um, pick it up there. Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding today as we go to your word. Please open eyes and open ears. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. All right, chapter twenty, verse thirty-three. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, will I rule over you, and I will, will bring you out from the people, and will, will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand, and this is talking about the end, and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out, this is talking about the end times, and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, saith the Lord God, and it will happen. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. And that's that shepherd's rod that um, he's not going to lose any of his sheep. They all pass under, and if you're not a sheep, if you're a, a wolf, you'll get, the hook will get you, um, it's judgment, but it's precious. And I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me, those wolves. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. As for you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, go ye serve ye every one his idols and hereafter also if ye will not hearken unto me but pollute ye my holy name no more with your gifts and with your idols for in my holy mountain in the mountain of the height of israel saith lord god there shall all the house of israel all of them in the land serve me there will i accept them and there will i require your offerings and the first fruits of your oblations with all your holy things. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries wherein ye have been scattered, and we're all scattered now, and I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. And ye shall know I am the Lord when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country, for the which I lifted up mine hand to give it to your fathers, that, uh, that land flowing with milk and honey. And there shall ye remember your ways and all your doings, wherein ye have been defiled, and you shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed. You're going to know who I am, and that's in Revelation 2, that they'll pray for the mountains to fall on them when he returns. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have wrought with you for my name's sake, not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings. O ye house of Israel, saith the Lord God. Moreover, we'll finish the chapter today. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face towards the south. That's toward Judah, always. It's the south. In Jerusalem. And drop thy word toward the south, and prophesy against the forest of the south field. And say to the forest of the south, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will kindle a fire in thee, and it shall devour every green tree in thee, and every dry tree. The flaming flame shall not be quenched, and all faces from the south to the north shall be burned therein. Our God is a consuming fire. Don't ever forget it. And all flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it, 
and it shall not be quenched. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, they say of me, doth he not speak in parables? Um, he is a consuming fire, but to those that love him, it is um, it warms your heart, and it is the Holy Spirit. So, nothing to be afraid of. I love you all. I hope you're having a great day. Love and blessings to you, and we'll pick it up there tomorrow.